there's been some furor, it seems, over the last few days about comments people have made on the Upper East Side with regard to the possible installation of accessible pedestrian signals. And people seem to think, first of all, that they're noisy, and secondly, that there's not a need for them. This is pretty disturbing to me and to the members of PASS and actually to the blind and low vision community in New York City in general, because um, accessible pedestrian signals, especially the current generation of, of those, and we call them APSs for accessible pedestrian signal, um, are really designed to, to create minimum noise for the community while still being um, helpful and providing the information that's needed by travelers who are blind or visually impaired. That percussion stop. Pedestrian started getting the flashing red hand. Uh -huh. That's your time to clear the intersection. It's the only time you should step off when you hear the rapid text. I'd like somebody, uh, Joe, could you come over here and press the button? Sorry. And I want you to feel the vibration too. Press it all the way in. Good. Right. When is it going to vibrate? Oh, when vibrate? I can vibrate? Exactly. So, okay. Let's cross. It's true that APSs have what's called a locator tone, and that's a uh, little ticking sound that is emitted so that when a person gets within 10 or 12 feet, they are going to hear that so they can find the APS and then push the button to actually activate it. If there's a case where that really does actually come up and enter someone's apartment, if it can be really shown that that's true, there are solutions um, that have been tried in other places, such as shields that go um, over the top of the APS itself. I think that the blind community is willing to work with DOT or whoever is necessary to to check out whether that might possibly be a need, but that does not mean that you don't install APSs where they are required. They are also set in such a way that when the noise level around them uh, decreases, so does their sound. They need to be heard above the environmental noise, but they don't need to be excessively loud. In this generation of APSs that's now being used, um, that's really taken into account. We're bothered by this idea that we, quote unquote, we don't have blind people on the Upper East Side who, who nobody up there crosses the street, no blind person crosses the street by themselves. There are people who are blind and visually impaired all around the city. We work all around the city. We shop and live and um, so you never know when and where somebody who's blind might be uh, coming up to a corner and might be needing the information that an APS provides. All the APS does is it lets somebody know when the walk signal is on. In New York City now, anybody that walks around New York City sees all the places where there are signs, visual signs that say, only cross on the walk. Well, why do they say that? They say that because um, the signaling patterns and patterns and the streetscapes and stuff have changed so much in the last few years um, and become so complicated that it is hard even for people with 2020 to tell when the appropriate moment is to cross the street. In the same way, it used to be true that a person who was blind would learn when you come up to a corner, when you hear the parallel surge of traffic, that's when you can be confident that you can go across the street because that's when the light's in your favor. You tell me when it's time to cross. Is it out of her way? No, it's okay. No, no you've got to don't walk from There's a pool you don't know about. You don't know, that's right. And this is two ways. Look at this. Okay. 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 Okay.
Now you could. But again, with these changes in signaling and changes in traffic patterns, that's just not true in very many, many, many places. So the APSs are really needed just to provide the information that now the walk sign is on. Fifth Avenue, Broadway, 23rd Street. It's a very, very, very wide crossing. But the problem here is that you will enter into pedestrian plaza areas that have no indication of where you should walk, there's no shoreline to follow, and there's very odd traffic information. So I'm standing in the traffic lane, you're not. There's nothing that changes here. Yeah. Virtually nothing. Okay. Does it sound like you can cross now? No, no, no. Hey, listen, yeah. you've got a parallel, a parallel traffic. You didn't oh, even get a parallel cool. surge here. You would get a parallel surge, and you would have a solid zone walk signal. Because the cars would be turning, not expecting you to be in the street, because you have a zone walk. So you'll hear the parallel traffic moving, You'll even hear a surge. It's just not the right time to walk. And this is basic life-saving information that is needed by all citizens in this city or visitors to this city or anyone traveling in this city. And that's why APSs are essential.